She describes herself as a seductress, a relentlessly self-promoting 21-year-old named Anastasia Vashukevich. With the social media stage name Nastya Rybka, this Belarus-born woman claims to have evidence of Russian meddling in the U.S. election. The question, is this a desperate ploy to get out of jail, or, as her friend claims, is this young woman truly in danger because she knows too much? First, they are in danger. Second, they have the information. And third, we are afraid of their lives. Really afraid of their lives. We don't know what's going to happen. For days, Vashukevich and several Russian friends have been held at this jail in the capital of Thailand, where visitors are not allowed to bring cameras. I just came out of this detention center where I spoke with Anastasia Vashukevich. It was loud and hot and chaotic. And talking through the bars, she says that she witnessed meetings between the Russian billionaire Oleg Deripaska and at least three Americans who she refused to name. She claims they discussed plans to affect the U.S. elections, but she wouldn't give any further information because she fears she could be deported back to Russia. Her claims might not hold much water if it wasn't for this. Photos published on her Instagram account of Vashukevich alongside Russian billionaire Oleg Deripaska. Deripaska, a one-time business partner of former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort. He's pleaded not guilty to charges related to money laundering and other alleged crimes discovered during the investigation into Russian meddling. Vashukevich's posts showed Deripaska on board his private yacht, meeting Russia's deputy prime minister, Sergei Prikhodka. Two powerful Russian men overheard in one video discussing U.S.-Russian relations. Vashukevich wrote about the meeting using altered names in this book. Deripaska denies meddling in the U.S. election and says Vashukevich was never his mistress, a spokesman writing... This is clearly an attempt by Anastasia Vashukevich to politicize the accusations of the Thai police. And here's where the story gets really weird. Last month, Vashukevich was in Thailand with a Russian sex coach named Alexander Kirillov, running a week-long sex training course that teaches, among other things, tips for dating. On the last day, Thai police burst into the hotel, arresting Vashukevich, Kirillov, and eight others for working without a permit. Ukrainian-American Pavlo Yunko traveled from New York to attend the course. I was there to have just a good time. And then the police showed up. And just police showed up. In the days that followed, Yunko says he hand-delivered this letter from the sex teacher to the U.S. Embassy in Bangkok, requesting asylum in exchange for recordings Vashukevich says she made of alleged Russian government crimes. An embassy spokesperson says since Vashukevich is not a U.S. citizen, this is a matter for the Thai authorities. Supporters now deliver food to their friends in jail, where Vashukevich's offers to help U.S. investigators have apparently gone unheard. The jailed seductress and the sex teacher recognize soon they may be deported back to Mother Russia.